name is Brother Mark Dextrous and I am 55 years old. I currently live in Ventura, California and I wanted to talk to you about my life with Proteus Syndrome. For 55 years I, living with Proteus Syndrome has been quite challenging. It's an overgrowth disability. My legs are much bigger than uh, anybody else's legs. I've had 22 major operations and when I was a baby uh, the doctors thought I would be dead within 24 hours so they wouldn't let me see my parents for three days and my ma she used to wander the halls at night at St. John's Hospital looking for me but the doctors uh, wouldn't let me see her. There's only documented 200 cases of it around the world. So picture six billion people on the planet and there's only, there's less than 200 of these individuals that have this illness and I'm one of them. Sometimes it was, it was difficult because kids are the cruelest things in the world. Let's face it, they don't think before they speak. So lots of times I had a crying kid on my hand. What's the matter with me, Mom? Nothing's the matter with you. Oh, okay, somebody said there was something the matter with me. People are so ignorant that they say, hey, what's the matter with you, kid? Hey, walk away. None of the uh, schools would let me go to school at their school because they thought I was, if I'm physically disabled, I must be mentally disabled too. He always had all the patience in the world. And then I would speak up and say, well, why don't you retaliate? Why don't you just tell them where to go? He'd say, Mom, I can't do that. That's not nice. And I'd say, oh my God, that's not nice. It's a good thing I'm not following you around all day. <laughs> I just consider myself very lucky to have been Mark's sister all these years. We're extremely close. We are actually 13 months apart. I've always been a caregiver, or felt like a caregiver for my brother. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Move this one more. Thanks, sis. Anytime, brother. <laughs> She's very vicious. Mark has taught me many things throughout the years, but I have to say that what I've enjoyed most about Mark, my brother, is his great sense of humor. My life with Proteus! Take seven. Where did you get this? When we've gone out together, he's actually been the one to introduce me to other people, and I've always appreciated that about him. I'll have to tell you the story of the day we got into a fight, though, and she kicked my door in. No, that but was you. We'll talk about that another that day. That was you. He. He's just very personable and very loving toward other people. He finally settled in. It took a while for the kids to adjust to the fact that he was dear friend, you know? So once they did, he was just one of the kids. I played basketball in grammar school and played guitar back then. Uh, had tons of girlfriends all the time, which was really great. I graduated in Santa Clara High School and ended up getting my degree in uh, philosophy. I wanted to help others that were struggling through life and maybe they had their own disability, so I entered the Capuchin Franciscans and became a monk. So I wanted to follow the priesthood and uh, I felt God was calling me to that. This is the shoe. Could you imagine trying to f put this on? I call them my ass-kicking boots. So when I go to the nightclubs and people give me a hard time, this is what I usually wear. I always make grunting noises when I get up. It's part of the therapy. <laughs> I always wanted to be a comedian when I grew up, so this is my opportunity to shine.
Mm-hmm. Get out of my way, sonny boy. Throughout the day, what I like to do is I, I try to be as creative as I possibly can. Boiled it down to doing two things that I really enjoy the most, and that is painting um, with oils and acrylics and also playing guitar and making music. Both of those things ha are huge. There's, there's so many avenues you can go down. So just for me, I love doing landscapes and thinking of uh, music while I'm painting. This is actually one of my favorite paintings Mark has ever painted. And I wish we could actually take it to my house and put it on my wall. When he, when he paints, he just sits down and this is done in one day. <laughs> That's when we used to go up to um, June Lake. He got, that was in his head at June Lake. And this one here was up at the lake too. The whole process of being creative is life-giving for me. I deal with a lot of pain and uh, suffering, so I try to expand my mind where I'm not always focused on those things and getting caught in a rut. This he enjoyed doing. He truly enjoyed doing this. He got he got um, got this holy feeling of <laughs> come over him. I always wanted to walk far in life. So every day I walk to the door and then I come back to the bed. Pretty good, huh? Just growing up and seeing how he was bullied a lot, um, what people would say, how people would look, it, it would be really hard. So as an adult, I think it's helped me just appreciate people for who they are, regardless of what they look like. I think our society really has it all wrong when we feel like we have to be perfect with how we look and how we act. Um, and it's really upsetting to me when people may be carrying a child that doctors have told them has a disability and have counseled these women to end their pregnancies. Maybe they have Down syndrome or they find that there's another disability that's involved. I believe God has given each of us a particular reason to be here. We teach each other how to love better, how to get along better. Um, so I just hope that maybe people that see other people with disabilities can have more compassion and understanding and acceptance. He's a good soul and he's a blessing. He always has been. He was a gift, a special gift, which he still is, but I still get angry. <laughs> I want uh, everybody to be open to possibilities that somebody different than yourself could have uh, gifts and creativities that they uh, want to share with other people. Disability is not something to be feared, it's more something to be inquisitive about, to get to know another human being that is different and it may be frightening at times or you may be nervous but when you open your, yourself to new possibilities there's always hope that uh, you'll gain a new friend and uh, there'll be more acceptance in the world in, in which we live.